Hello viewers, I am Will Keith and I am here today to review a couple more products from Banggood.com. You might remember a little while ago I made a video reviewing uh, cut proof gloves and a sort of survivor rod that was kind of like this metal pole that had all kinds of uh, different blades and equipment in it and if you remember that video the first time I tried thrusting that rod into this tree just a light thrust the blade snapped so um I'd give that a kind of like a failing grade as a reviewer but today I have this now this is the kind of thing that I've actually wanted to buy for a while so I was kind of excited to be able to receive this for free in order to test it and I really truly hope that this thing ooh, some kind of really nice butterfly over there um, I do hope this thing holds up and what this is is a uh, flashlight baton and this is kind of like a self-defense item, like if you're doing something outside your house at night or something, somebody, whew, oh my god, it is like fucking Amazon rainforest out here with the bugs, oh holy crap. Um, this is a flashlight baton, like I said. It's just like self-defense item, you got, you're going outside your house doing something at night, going for a walk at night, this is um, a fairly practical thing to have with you. Works as a flashlight, obviously, and a pretty decent one at that and works as a self-defense tool, if it holds up. That's the thing I don't know. I don't know if this thing's gonna survive my tests. Um, really all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be smacking it into wood a couple times. It's gonna be no harder than somebody smacking it against a human skull. And as I always say, I am nowhere near what I would consider like strong. So if me hitting this against some wood breaks it, then an actual like, that would be it calls an actual like athletic person smacking somebody with this it would likely break as well so i'm gonna give it a few uh few hits and see what happens anyway it's um aluminum construction led bulb i'm gonna turn it on here you can see it's on and if you lightly press the thing it goes down a little bit a little bit less bright and again you get the strobe light and the strobe light's really nice because you have, you're in the dark and somebody's creeping on you, you strobe them in the face, they are going to be blind as shit for a little while. In which case you could just immediately get what the smacking. So, I'm going to leave the light off for the first test and I'm going to be getting into the tree in its collapsed state here. And hopefully it will hold up past the first hit. Um, you know what? I, am, I know I'm going to look extremely ridiculous doing this. But I'm so paranoid about it breaking and like sending shards of glass everywhere and components that I'm actually going to be wearing this mask since I can't find um, since I can't find my glasses, my protective glasses. And I'm actually going to be wearing it upside down so my mouth is going to be in the eye holes and I'll be able to see out like the breathing holes there. So yeah, I might look like a complete idiot, but I'm a safe idiot. And uh, here we go. Alright, so it was still a couple hits. Let's see if it turns on. Yeah, it turned on. Two light hits and it turned on. And I'm going to give it a much harder hit, like if I was actually trying to defend my life. Alright, that extended it, but it held up. And it turns on. Alright, so so far that's uh, exceeding my expectations. So now I'm going to extend it. And now it is still supposed to be usable like this. So I'm going to give the tree a couple of hits and see if it holds up extended. Alright, it's in one piece. Feels solid enough. Will it turn on? Uh, I'm having trouble making it collapse. There we go. Wait. Um. Alright, something happened on the inside of it that's making it impossible to collapse. It must have like dislodged something. Would it turn on? Yeah, it's still turning on and the strobe light's going. 
And uh, one of the main uses of this is to actually have the strobe light to blind somebody before you go in for the attack. And so I'm going to be trying out the light on to see if the light remains on after the strike. Oh, we're getting some bending here. Look at that. I don't think this thing's going to survive another hit. I mean, the light's still on. Here goes nothing. All right. Well, it did get a bend. It won't collapse properly, but it's still going. And I got to say, this thing's more durable than I thought it would be. Considering that this is one of those things that you're only going to use in a really extreme situation, I would say that it actually holds up well enough. You know, like for example, I live in kind of like a more ghetto area than I do. I'm trying to take the trash out at night. Some guy walks up to me. Hey man, you got any money? No, I don't have any money. Yeah, well, give me a wadded anyway, you son of a bitch or something. I don't know, I don't. I don't know how this shit's going to go down. But, um, you know. In a situation like that, this would survive the encounter from what I just experienced here. And this thing, you can't see it from here, but this thing has seriously fucked up the side of the tree. Like, it's all ground up. If that was a person, they would be so absolutely done. So, I guess technically I have to give this thing a passing grade because it does what it's supposed to do. And honestly, I'm hitting hard wood. You know, like I'm hitting a person. A person is softer than a tree is. So I'm guessing that this thing would survive well enough to get you through any kind of serious encounter. And um, it's not the most durable thing, but I don't know if any of these would be. Like, I've always, I've, like I said, I've always wanted to buy one of these, but I've never been sure if they would hold up. And this one has exceeded my expectations, and I actually would recommend it. So, um, I guess it's about it for that. I'm gonna move on to um, the next thing I have here. This is what I would call a, a fixed blade pocket knife. It's a little leaf shaped blade with a nice uh, real wooden handle here. It's made out of D2 tool steel, which is actually a very good steel. And um, what I did is I bought this. Well, I didn't buy this. I asked for this because they said I could pick things that I wanted to test and review. And I picked this. And I was actually going to buy a few more if this holds up and uh, stick them in my backpack just in like basically every compartment so I always have a bunch of small decent knives on me. And this has a decent edge. I have some uh, 550 paracord here. Cuts through that. Absolutely no problem. Nice and easy. Can up. Fold this over a couple times. very very good edge for a uh, small inexpensive knife now the one thing I'm unsure of is if it has a tang because if I try to balance it on my finger it tends to go one way or the other so I mean I guess it's decently balanced I mean I can't balance it because there's not really a good point where I can kind of keep it there but it doesn't lean heavily in either direction so I'm guessing it does have a decent tang going in through there. I don't know if there's anything holding into the tang or if it's just um, adhesive. But either way, it feels solid enough. So I'm going to give this thing a, a couple of side snacks to my post here. And it's really hard to whoops. It's really hard to get any kind of leverage on this because it's so small. So hitting it is really just like a couple of light taps, but it's not breaking from that. And I'd say for like really light utility use, basically, um, I don't want to call it a letter opener because it does have a really good edge. But if for basic utility use, I actually would recommend this. However, there is one issue. Um, it was supposed to come with a cool like Native American looking leather sheath. And there was no sheath. Like in this little box, it just fell over here. Hang on. When I opened it, the knife was just loose in here like this, no sheath, which was immensely disappointing because like I said, I actually really like this little guy and it would have been cool to have the sheath because if it's just a loose blade, I can't exactly stick like five of them in my backpack. So um, I'm actually going to contact the seller and hope that he, I either can get a replacement with a sheath or just a sheath would be fine. 
But um, I actually really like this, but if it's gonna be missing the sheath, I'm hoping this was just like a one-time fuck up and anyone else who buys it isn't gonna have that same issue. But um, it's a cool looking knife. Like I said, it's kind of like Native American looking, especially if you've got the leather sheath. D2 tool steel, which is very good metal for a small knife like this. And um, it seems to hold up good against whatever kind of really light smack and I can do with it. Like I'm thrusting the tip into the wood here and hitting it at an angle and it's not getting bent at all or the tip isn't getting damaged at all. The edge is fine. So it holds up for, like I said, light utility use. It's going to be fine. So, um, kind of like an emergency self-defense weapon. This, it has to pass because I really don't think there is any kind of reasonably affordable flashlight baton that will survive against wielding against a tree. So I am not going to hate on this for bending a little bit or failing to collapse again. It holds up and it will serve its purpose in a um, one-time situation or maybe in a couple situations if you're unlucky enough to end up in a couple situations. And this really good small like backpack knife. I just wish it had the sheath and hopefully I can get a sheath on there. So you'll find uh, links in the video description and uh, thank you all so much for watching. I guess that's going to be the end of this video and have a good day.